real quick real quick sweep angles f and m sweep you're right sweep them again physically sweep it reinforces it for your brain these are called alternating angles opposite sides of the surface but between the lines lightly stripes what's between the lines is that's called interior between the lines is called interior Whatever you cut across, this is called the interior. Ready? I'd like you to read right here, out loud. Ready? And alternate interior, opposite sides of the lines. All right, that's alt in. Ready? I give one letter, you give me a match. F and, out loud, guys, F and. Okay, F and M, what about G and H? H, yes, okay, G and H, that's alternate interior. Ready, let's go ahead and do that. And squiggle the ones on the outside. Okay, read alternate. This is interior. That's exterior. I give one, you give the other. D and D and bingo. All right. Now, corresponding, by far the most common, also very easily overlooked. If you lay your stir stick down. Sweep M and write the word in. Sweep D and write the word out. Read this out loud with me. Ready? Chorus. Read it with me, guys. Corresponding. Guys, when I say read, I need to add. Okay, ready? Corresponding angle. Same side, one in, one out. All righty. Last one is uh, in the video I call this consecutive. Consecutive interior that is interchangeable with same side interior. You're on the same side of the stir stick inside the lines, but you're on the same side. Same side. Between the lines. I give one, you swap back the other. G and F and bingo. Now, it's really important you understand that these positional terms work when lines are not parallel. None of these are parallel, but we still use these terms. But when lines become parallel, all of these suddenly a very specific relationship. And it helps you find a bunch of stuff. So on the right-hand side, and then we'll do two problems together, and you guys will be on your own. First off, I need you guys to always remember to look for what I call the happy salesman. I love to say happy salesman. Let me show you what I mean. These are easy to overlook. So that's why I want to have happy sales, right? Do not overlook those. Those are going to be in the classes, and they're always there. Happy salesmen. Now, they're always there. When lines do become parallel, 
these three become congruent, and this one becomes supplementary. Just ignore the A's and B's. I should have whited those out before I did this. Okay, just watch the colors. All two interior angles are always congruent when the lines become parallel. If you want space, armpits of the Z, those hairy armpits are congruent. Some of you will figure that in about five seconds here. Yes, hairy armpits, congruent. Yeah, you know, totally gross. You'll never forget. Okay, so all two interior. I know, but you'll never forget. I know you just, yeah, there goes the visual. Yeah, all my visual students are going like, oh. Yeah, my auditory students, they, they could care less right now. They're not seeing it. That's okay. Ready? These are alternate exteriors. Other side, outside the line. So the yellow is between the lines. Here's the green line. Alternate exteriors. Right there, strike it, that's your interior. Corresponding, one's in, one's out. Same side, both of the So, alt in, alt x, and corresponding. All righty, guys. Ready? Last one. Same side, interior, so they're between the lines, and same side, those are not congruent. Almost everything else is. These are the only ones that are supplementary. They add up to 180. We're going to do two problems together, and you'll be on your own. Adds up to 180. Same side interior. Also known as consecutive interior. Okay, here's a challenge problem for you. Now, I'm going to give you a minute. And I'm, this is timed. You have one minute to find you may not help each other. You may not help each other. Very important point to make here. Okay? Nobody, no, nobody did this. And, and I didn't tell you you couldn't mess with the Watch the magic and track with me, okay? So, um, how many of you at least got uh, the 70? Okay, so you got the 70, and maybe that's 70, and then that's 110, and then this is 37 here. Technically, 37's there, 37's there. And we're going to go like this, and let's see, one that's 150, 143. Yes, check my math, guys. 143. And then we start working our other stuff. We walk it down the stir stick, alternate exterior, that's 70, which means this right here is 70. Behold, what kind of shape do I have going on right here? Wowzer, guys. Let's try that again. Okay, that'd be a triangle. We got 37. We got 70, right? Ooh. And then you add that up, take it away from 180. And what is that, 73? Yeah, that's 73 right there. That's Jade. So you were close. Jade was the closest, but Jade, you had to go like this, I linear thread. Jade was the closest. Hi there, Jade. Jade, wave your hand and introduce yourself. <laughs> Wowzer, guys, just to give you a heads up, I might test you on finals day of every single name in this classroom. 
164 students, and I know them all by name right now. Maybe you should start introducing yourselves, guys, okay? All right. Peyton. Yeah. All righty, guys. That, my friends, is Today's notes. We're going to try another one here. Obviously, we need to be a little bit more gentle on you. Look at the bottom of this page here. Right there. Ready. When working with parallel lines, the very first thing you should do is automatically extend parallel lines. And let's add this transversals. Transversals or the stir stick. So in that diagram, I transversal extend. No, I didn't. That was a nice way of saying this way. You're an idiot. Thank you. Extend parallel lines. Extend transversals or stir sticks. We're on the first page on the left. Highlight or darken the transversal. Or you might need to extend it like we did. We're at the bottom of the left page. I know you didn't. That's why I stopped you. It's really no fun filling out an accident report for concussions and mouth loss. No. Okay. Consider alternate perspectives. Ready? I think you guys need just one more example. So we'll skip this one. Cross it out if that makes you happy. Okay. Go straight here. Now, following the rules that we just learned, Step number one, extend your parallel lines. Parallel lines. Is it a little arrow feather? Okay, next, I want you, let's put your stir stick here on the left and extend it. So draw it off. Use your stir sticks, extend it. We're going to work that one, what's called transversal stir stick. Okay, physically sweep those angles involved. Oh. All right, now I'm going to give five seconds. I went silent, and then I'm going to take those two. Okay, let's see what's going on here. If we're looking at these two lines. This is inter. This is outside those two lines. One's in, one's out. Same side of the stir step. What is it, dear? Corresponding in there. Okay, second question. Are they congruent or stuck? Correspondings are congruent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for the equal to Okay, we're putting that 80 down. Okay, your goal is this. I want you to then find every single possible angle in that diagram. Ready? No. Every single angle in that diagram. All possible angles. 
And don't forget to solve for x as well. I every possible angle here, guys. Don't forget to solve for X, please. all possible angles. Give you a minute. If you're done early, work on the review page or wherever you want. Fifteen seconds. Ready? Grab your red pants. I think you got it all. Okay. Um, check. Yes, sir. Yes. 